Right, first thing I'm going to need to do is unwonk you, my precious little perfectly wiped bottoms. There we are. There we are. There we are. Excellent. Oh, hello. Mustard's doing the lunch video. I'm not. This is unusual. I'm not doing a lunch video, but I just thought um, I would let the hedgehog of truth look after my phone. All right. But not for long. Yeah, good luck finding it after it's played about with it. Exactly. Cheeky bastard. Don't trust him one bit. Paid the price for it, didn't he? Yeah, he did, yeah. You gave him a right battery. He has been good, so. Yeah, and recently he's not played up. Well, would you if you were getting your ass battered? Should I give him my keys to look after? Oh, God, yeah. That can only go well. And welcome we to Mustard and Bolty Do Lunch. Oh, thank you very much. I'm glad to be here. It's now, nice what's your first question? Uh, what's in the bag? Well, we've got something hot. That's for me. We've got something mixed. And that's for you. Oh gosh, that's not good. And we've got a big packet of wonderful joy, which is a combined treat. I'm gonna need um, that bag out, reckon. Otherwise, the table is going to be pretty badly stained. The grease has kind of spilt out everywhere. of uh, avoiding any doubt, these are the best chips in the known universe. The known universe? Mmm. Mmm. Now, since we last had lunch, mm. I've had a bit of an interesting epiphany. Mm. You know when we've spoken in the past about um, <laughs> is this going to carry on for much longer? No. You know we've spoken in the past about a uh, perfect fantasy woman and so on. Oh. And I've always spoken about peak Molly set. Oh yeah. Well, I have come up with an answer. An answer? Yeah. So my perfect woman, my ideal woman, is going to be Marisette from, you know, the age of um, pottering beginnerment through to the age of, her age of 33. And at that point, I'm swapping her for Vanessa Parody. Well, <clears throat> it's always good to have a positive answer to a question I didn't ask. Because Vanessa Parody really came into her own in her 30s, as far as I'm concerned. Mm. I think most women do. Do you? Mmm, good chips. They're amazing chips. How old was your good lady when you met her? 17. Really? And you were what, late 30s? 40 off, 44. Oh, here we go. Right, that is just going to be impossible to eat in any kind of decorous fashion. We're going to need, we're going to need a napkin. And I, at least, am going to need a knife and fork. Otherwise, this is just going to become impossibly messy. Yeah. And I do like an element of decorum. <clears throat> Mm. 
for a lot of trips. Which is, of course, the perfect amount. Well, a lot. Yeah. I mean, anything less than a lot is... I would describe... Anything less than a lot, I would describe as a disappointment of chips. What would you think would be a good collective noun for YouTubers? Um, I don't want to say it. Because it'd be rude. What does it begin with? Um, insults and... No, I'm not joking. I don't know. I'm panicked. Mmm! Good! Yeah. A panic of YouTubers. Yeah. It's not what I meant, but I'll stick with it. I actually remembered how and why I started YouTubing. And I hadn't realised until I remembered. That's not stopped you from carrying on? No, no, no. I mean, I know why you started. Although, well, actually, you always said it was because Jake said to you that you should. Yeah. But uh, you'd had a YouTube channel before, yeah. and a monetised channel. Mm. Why did you start that one? Two minutes on those channels. Two? Um, I didn't stop it, I just, well, I didn't carry on, that's all. That's interesting, but I asked you why you started it. Yeah. I wonder where I'd be if I had started it. Probably. I might be in a position where I could pay for lunch. Uh, you'd probably have been in a, an HGV. Maybe. With, with that hair. Making videos about being <clears throat> a very posh truck driver, but doing it with a strongly northern accent. Mm. If you hadn't done it, we'd never have met. I know. Well, done, would it not? What were the two monetized channels then? Your piano one? Piano? Um, guitar. Yeah. And the other one? Not the garden spoon one. Hmm. No deal. Oh, mind you. In the old days, you could monetize at any point, couldn't you? You didn't have to hit a certain number of subscribers or... I did. One of the lads at work used to have a gaming channel and you could monetize it like when you got five subscribers or something. Well, today has just been an incredibly positive day. That's what we need, isn't it? Absolutely. Oh yeah, simple for you. And the sun's come out. That's God looking down on us and saying... And, and actually giving his seal of approval. Yeah. Well done, chaps. Enjoy your lunch. Here's a bit of sunlight. How good would you have to be for God to buy you your lunch? Ah. Imagine well, 
Imagine going into a stamply or something like that and just saying, oh, it's on God's slate. Well. If God had a slate with them, they wouldn't find that surprising, would they? Although they might want to double check with God, so that's okay. Why? What was all about belief? Belief in God, not belief in two hairy blokes who just come in and say, yeah, it's all right, God's going to pay for this. <clears throat> I was driving to work the other night, <clears throat> and there was one of those road arrangements where they park cars, and it means that only one set of cars can get through. Yeah. So I waited and allowed other people coming the other way to come through. And three of them went through. And none of them said thank you. And I thought, well, that's got to be some sort of conclusive proof of the non-existence of God. Because if there was a, a God who conformed to how it's described in the various religious texts, he would punish them for not saying thank you. Yeah. And he didn't. But then I wondered, well, you know, although God's omnipotent, maybe, you know, He's got a lot to look after. Maybe he just didn't see it. Maybe it was on the toilet. Oh, do you think God goes to the toilet? Goes back to his knee. Well, I don't know. What's, what's going to happen to all those noodles? Otherwise? I mean, how do you, I mean? How do you eat in heaven? Um. How do you eat? <clears throat> the question should be, what do you eat? What do you think of Donald Trump, honestly? I can't say I like him. Do you admire him? No. Do you? Yeah. <clears throat> well, I mean, he's been quite successful, hasn't he? I mean, he's a man of limited ability. Um, and, you know, he's bent as an iron bub now. Mm. And yet he's uh, become the most powerful man in the world. And project porn stars. Yeah, well, that is all very well and good. I imagine it would be. Mm. I'd love to be the most powerful man in the world. <clears throat> you imagine being a, a really attractive young lady underneath that big fat sweaty pig. With his hair that keeps falling off. can't be pleasant, can it? You'd have to be paid for that. I and mean, you wouldn't do it for free, would you know? Hey, go on top. Well, his wife probably does it for free. Ah. Now, that is an interesting point. Because, how old is his wife, do you know? I do, she's 12. No, how old is she really? I don't know. <laughs> I'm glad you brought that up. Oh, yeah. Better out than in. So what point were you going to make about Mrs. Crump? Yeah. Well. I wrote a poem about them. Did you? Yeah. Would you like to hear it? Not really. Good, I'll do it for you. <clears throat> Donald Trump did a dump on the kitchen floor. Mrs. Trump ate his dump and said she'd like some more. Based on a true story. <laughs> oh. 
I mean, as for enjoying being puddered by the Donald, if the puddering was taking place in a multi-million dollar mansion that you owned half of, that would probably make it a bit more pleasurable, wouldn't it? Uh, well, what I was going to say <clears throat> is that his wife may find him utterly repulsive, and that's why <coughs> she's happy just to take the money and let him do prostitutes. Huh? If you was his wife, serious question. Yeah. You'd be okay for money, right? Uh, presumably. And would you be happy just to turn a blind eye so you don't have to shag him? Um. <laughs> Depends. Right, well, why? It depends if he was willing to do the same. Because if he was one of these narcissistic men who are incredibly controlling and need to know everything that you did and so on, then I wouldn't be able to shag anybody else, so I wouldn't be getting any. And that wouldn't do. I mean, arguably, the Donald would, would be better than nothing, wouldn't it? I don't know. Would it? Well, when the alternative is going without. Right, okay, if you're really thirsty mm. and you've run out of um, coffee, there's mm. no water, the taps have run dry, you've got no wine, the only thing you've got and you can't get out of the house and you've not a drink in 10 hours is a bottle of milk, would you drink it? Probably. Right. Okay, then I accept your argument. I'm going to explore every other opportunity. <clears throat> I think I'm probably right in saying that you've never had a homosexual experience. Right, yeah. Have you? Why bring it up? Uh, because. <clears throat> and well, you want to have one. I'm willing to bet that you've never been pegged by a woman. Oh, uh, no. Right. So, genuine question. How much would you have to be offered to allow Donald Trump to do you? To take your body virginity with an American accent? Uh, <clears throat> I'm not answering that question oh, no, chips have gone, without, without a full contract. Okay. All right, what's the contract? Well, I get paid 60% up front. What, before the pottering? Yeah. Okay, but you've got to stay locked down within a controlled environment. <clears throat> Otherwise, you're just going to do a runner with that 60%, aren't you? Yeah. So do you agree to be locked down within a controlled environment? Right, well, hang on. <clears throat> Why would I do a runner? All I've got to do, all you've got to do, is make sure you pay me twice the amount that I probably would require for me to do it. So then I'm going to get the amount that I want anyway, as well as the amount that I want. What? <laughs> 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 Okay, so we're relying in that contract. You want 60% paid in advance. Mm. I'm insisting that you remain locked down from the point of the 60% being paid to the point where you <laughs> undergo the, the presidential podgering. <laughs> would you have one of those riders like celebrities have? What would you insist on having during the or prior to and during the experience? Uh, <clears throat> Something alcoholic, I imagine. Yeah, and some morphine. Well, there could be a drug that you could take that would make you actually enjoy it. Well. Well, I mean, you could be the kind of person that would enjoy it. It's called Prosecco, isn't it? Works with ladies. Yeah, works with ladies. <laughs> But it doesn't work if you're a man, does it? Go on, I'll see what you answer your own question. 
How much would you need to be paid to have a presidential voucher? <laughs> <laughs> Are we talking about this happening now, or at a point in history? Uh, no, this afternoon. Oh. The, this afternoon? Mm. What, the pottering's going to occur this afternoon? Yeah. Oh, God. Um, well, no, you better get ready, aren't you? <laughs> <laughs> oh. That'd be awfully embarrassing if you turned up in the yard, took a look at it, oh, and... <laughs> <laughs> Well, with some men, it's not about attraction, is it? It's about, um, it's a way of them exerting power and control. The ultimate expression of power and control. Which would make it a bit unlikely to <coughs> to have the desire to do that over a, a man with 5,000 YouTube followers. <laughs> would it really, really, yeah, it'd really go for not instead. Oh, God. Who? may or may not be more likely to be interested and I don't know which one it is. Well, let's think about that. Oh! You know what, you've successfully not answered your question as I did. Yeah? Well, okay. Just think of the money. £5,000 in your bank account this afternoon. No. Absolutely not. No? No! You want more? Obviously. Right. Five thousand well, pounds would be quite useful. If no, you could I buy mean, another car that you don't need. I mean, it would have to be millions, obviously. Millions? Oh, many millions, yeah. Mind you, I suppose if he offered me seven hundred and fifty thousand quid, no, I wouldn't. But is he buying your silence uh, uh, as well? How do you mean? Well, I mean, say, <clears throat> say, there's two deals on the table here. Okay. Uh, one is. He pays you a million pounds and you tell nobody. Ever. Right, right. And if it ever comes out that you did that or you let him do that, you get assassinated and uh, you get assassinated legally because it's in a contract. Uh, or you can tell who you like for £750,000. And then you can make it public on YouTube and basically, um, well go to the papers about it and say that you was you was podged by the president. I'm not sure that putting up a video of me being podged by Donald Trump <laughs> <laughs> would necessarily <laughs> get you more subscribers. Well you uh, get you get more the well, you get more footmen. Oh if, I mean you'd get amazing views. Yeah. But I mean what's YouTube are you allowed to put sex on YouTube? I, uh, I don't think so. So, you'd have to have a split screen. So imagine it was you being done for your £5,000. Oh. You'd have a split screen and you'd have your face on one bit and then a sweaty Donald Trump looking <laughs> gun at it. Like. What would your face look like if you were being potted by Donald Trump? <laughs> I, well, imagine, well, I imagine you'd look a bit like Frankie Howard. What? Ooh! Like that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, you don't want him thinking that you've enjoyed it because then he might ask for, uh, you know, a refund. I would hope it would be one a bit like this. Right. I've never managed to look like that during a demanding bowel movement, let alone being having a president of the United States of America inserting himself into me. I would imagine that would be a face changer. <laughs> Well, uh, this is this is a, a rather unusual uh, uh, 
conversation this one actually isn't it w would you hope to be giving him an expression which pleases him or would you like it if it, it just you just appeared indifferent well he's not going to see is he think about the logistics of he's it watch the video though isn't he what video i'm not going to enter a video <laughs> <laughs> No, I, I think it would have to be done in secrecy. I don't want... I mean, you wouldn't want anybody knowing. How much, then? Um, well, well, as I always used to say, you can always come down in price, but you can't go up. So I would start at 50 million. I mean, that would mean that, I mean, assuming that the puttering was brief, and God knows I would hope that it was. It probably wouldn't be. Ah! It'd probably struggle to get it up for a start. Oh, he's going to take a pill, isn't he? Obviously. You know, I mean, it's a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity having to go at my ass. He's going to take a pill. A jagged little pill. Yeah. Would he, really? Of course he would. He's up, he's up that age. He's not going to be able to get it up without a pill, is he? Not for long. Not at all. Well, I mean, he could start off and then just... <coughs> his mind wanders onto some crochet <laughs> or something. <laughs> of course. What that you... makes it more scary. That he's, he's a drug fueled president with, with a, a massive sausage. <laughs> I think what I would do is I would pull off the old prostitute's trick. Oh, yeah. I would go really mad on the foreplay. So that if I... <laughs> <laughs> so that by the time... It... <laughs> by the time it got to the, the point of him popping himself into me, he'd already be on the vinegar strokes. <laughs> so... You know, it'd be, it'd be like puttering in three easy steps, pump, pump, squirt. <clears throat> yes, yeah. I'd really. That's a pro that's a um, a prostitute's trick, is it? Yeah, I never knew about that. Well, I should do. Oh yeah, they go super mad on the foreplay, so shortens the actual. Less pleasant bit. Right. Well, and the other thing is, if you do that, it might get you in the mood for it. Well, exactly. <laughs> exactly. It's win-win, it's win, isn't it? Well, if you're going to do it, you might as well make the best of it. But, yeah, give him some value for money, right? Yeah. And, you know, maybe a bit of pleasure yourself. <clears throat> and the more you appear to enjoy it, well... You know what it's like. Nothing brings the end closer than somebody really enjoying it. I mean, nothing induces the vinegar strokes more than a howling organism. Ah, well. <clears throat> that did not go the direction I was kind of um, expecting, really, so well done for that. Is that what you pay for him? So fifty million pounds, you think? Yeah, I'm confident that I, I'm reasonably confident that I would do it for fifty mil. Can he afford that? Can he afford it? Fifty million. Oh, fucking hell, it's nothing to him. Yeah, I know. But, um... I mean, that's petty cash. Well, what, what would your price be then? A couple of grand. I'd definitely, um, I'd, I'd definitely undercut you. Would you? Yeah, what? What would you do with So it, it would end up in, like, in a, a Dutch auction? What's a lot of money to you now? 20 pounds. Yeah, exactly. <clears throat> so by starting at 50 million, you're going to lose 50 million pounds that you never got in the first place. So if you were going to put yourself up, if you were going to... If you were going to sell, not by eBay auction, but by private treaty, if you were going to sell your anal virginity to um, 
a non-lady gentleman type penis stuff fellow. Would your price remain the same, whoever it was, or are the people that you would think, oh, I'll give you a discount? Now, when you mention Hubner, would you want the same money from Hubner as you'd want from Donald Trump? <clears throat> I bet Hubner hasn't got £50 million pounds spare. Oh, well, yeah, he'd crowdfund it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <clears throat> now, I'll tell you what, I'm sure that you do these lunch videos like this quite deliberately because you know that people will unsubscribe to <laughs> this kind of conversation. It, it hadn't occurred to me, but it is the one and only YouTube parameter where I'm beating you, so <clears throat> it's not a bad tactic. Although I will, before too long, be beating you on a number of videos. Yeah, you said that a couple of months back. It was a couple of weeks back, don't exaggerate. Right. Told you a million times about exaggerating. You have actually. That's way too many. So who would you charge more for? Trump or Hubner? Um, or would it be the same? Uh, Trump. Because, I mean, it's not my kind of thing anyway. What is it? Uh, Acquiring money? No. What? Well, no. Um, uh, and yes. Uh, no, I mean, being... Because, I mean, that's what you do anyway. This is your... I mean, you whore yourself out on YouTube. You make videos. You put yourself out there. You do live streams. Yeah, but if, I don't do it with my back door open. If somebody, if somebody, <laughs> get, if somebody gives you £5, pound, you're willing to do an embarrassing little dance. Yeah, yeah. Well, it's only one small step from that to bending over for the president. <laughs> <laughs> I suppose, put in that context, I'm prepared to do a really silly and embarrassing dance for five pounds. Yeah. If you scale that up, it doesn't take long before you got your pants down in front of the person, does it? It doesn't, does it? No. And you're all greased up. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But out of the what two... What would your wife think? Uh, what would she think? Yeah. Would she... If you went home to your wife and said, um, now, see here, darling, uh, this is the situation. Yeah. Um, we would never have to worry about money again. The girl's future would be secured. We could buy a house, go on holiday to Margate. Um, but it would involve me being very slightly unfaithful once. <clears throat> would she encourage you to do it or would she say, no, no. Well, Our love and fidelity is more important than... Are you doing a live stream tonight? Yeah. Well, I'll give you the answer then. Oh, well, after you've spoken yeah, to her? Yeah, I'll ask her. Okay. See what she says. Okay. So, uh, yeah, as you can see, I'm taking this seriously. Or would she offer to go in your place? Uh, I doubt it. <clears throat> yeah, no, I don't think she'd offer such a thing. Do midgets have a normal-sized penis, or are their penises much smaller? Uh, I don't know. Why don't you do a live stream and ask that question? <laughs> Yeah. That's where most of your information comes from these days, isn't it? <laughs> but live stream research. <laughs> yeah. I was just thinking if you were going to be poked for money, then if a midget had a correspondingly smaller penis, they'd be the best bet, wouldn't they? Yeah, yeah, they would, yeah. Because it'd be... Um, it'd be easier. And if a midget has a normal-sized penis, then it's going to look enormous, isn't it? And it's going to look really intimidating. Yeah. It would do. And, That's uh, why I've always gone for women with small hands. Ah, right, I see. Oh. That, I, I'm so annoyed by that. Ask her, ask her. Hello. Yeah, I am. Are you? Hello. Don't forget to ask her. Well, that's good news then. I thought that would be the case, to be honest. Um. <clears throat> All right, my lovelies. I'm going to finish this at that. So, thank you so much for watching. I'm going to have a cigarette. Mustard will no doubt be making himself another cup of tea and we've got things to be getting on with so 
and I'm going to have to do this on my own now. Goodbye for now and do tune in the next time that Mustard and Boaty do lunch. It's not the same on my own, never mind. This time next week there will be at least five of us. And it's Mustard's turn to pay. <laughs> All right, darlings, thank you. Bye-bye.